Is it true this program was brought to you by WA's most trusted car dealer, John Hughes? Absolutely. Welcome to Zoom TV, coming to you from the very first festival of speed here at Barbagello Raceway. Now unfortunately Kate couldn't make it today, I know it's hard for some, but here she is to tell you exactly what's on today's show. Thanks Aaron, some of us actually have to work Sundays. On today's show, Aaron meets Daniel Ricardo, the West Aussie breaking into F1s. He looks at the new Toyota parts department, visits some women at work, checks out the new home of Ford and he'll show you how you can actually drive a V8 race car. You've really got to give this a go for yourself. But first, here's Aaron with Kia's new look hatch. It's no secret, however, you may not know that the Kia Motor Company and Hyundai Motors are in fact related. I tell you this because if you didn't know, you may presume that one was ripping off the other. And to be honest, they are very similar, but they're also very different. This is the all new 2010 Kia Cerato, and it possesses qualities that link it to the Hyundai i30. But as is the case with all relatives, it may be very similar, but it's also very different. Like the other models produced by Kia that have traits close to that of their Hyundai cousins, the Serato seems to adopt the Kia philosophy of being a more masculine adaptation. The Serato comes in a 2 litre petrol and you can choose between a 6 speed manual or 6 speed automatic. Today we are in the SLI which is the top model available. It sits on large 17 inch alloys that help to endorse its road presence. Inside it's roomy, comfortable and the interior plastics and fabrics have a very hard wearing feel. It's comfortable, well set out, overall it's a very well designed car. The Serato hatch combines the sleek styling of the very popular Kia Coupe and the functionality of the Serato sedan. To keep you comfortable you get air conditioning, MP3 compatible CD stereo with USB and electric windows. Safety features include electronic stability program, ABS brakes, rear parking sensors with dash display, five airbags and state-of-the-art Bluetooth integration. Kia haven't just focused on the large improvements, they've also focused on the small stuff as well, like the use of alloy tips on the exhaust and the tasteful use of chrome. I'm really trying to work out where the cutbacks have been made to keep the price low. It looks good, it drives good and overall it's a great car. One really effective cost saving could be made in the mechanics of the Kia, but then you would expect a sluggish drive. Well that's not the case, the Kia hugs the road and its 2 litre petrol engine wants to move you through all 6 gears as much as you do. And don't forget that Kia offer you an unlimited 5 year warranty, giving you total confidence that it won't let you down. When you buy an affordable car, you are normally willing to accept some sacrifices, and normally that sacrifice is in its styling. But the Serato from the front to the back has got the looks and it's got the drive. Admit it, I think Kia has made affordable sexy. To check out the all new Kia Serato, get down to the award winning John Hughes Kia in Victoria Park or go to zoomtv.com.au. Welcome to Australia's newest motoring event, the Australian Festival of Speed. A day to celebrate the worship of motoring racing and also dedicated to everything that makes human beings go faster. The Australian Festival of Speed is the brainchild of Terry Matter and is financially backed by close friend Craig Parson. Both met whilst rehabilitated in hospital after suffering separate life-threatening motorcycle accidents that left Terry a paraplegic and Craig a quadriplegic. Their friendship blossomed and so too their passion for motorsport. After years of dreaming up the ultimate motorsport day out, their extreme passion evolved into reality, the Australian Festival of Speed, a day they claim will be the fastest day in your life. Terry, this is an amazing event. How did it all come about? Well, uh, we were working on a business. We had a startup business uh, called AAC. I was also uh, thinking of uh, 
uh, ways that we could raise the profile of F1 in Australia and uh, put on a good festival, one of these uh, motorsport festivals that you have in Europe. And so I kind of approached an investor who was also in AAC and uh, before you knew it, we had a kind of a pretty, uh, pretty ambitious plan on, the, on paper to make a world-class motorsport festival in Australia. You've had some amazing legends of the sport turn up today. How did you get them involved? You know, it, it helps. F1 has a sort of a special magic. And we knew that if we could get uh, Mark or the Red Bull F1 team, you, other stuff falls into place. Attending the festival is Daniel Riccardio from Red Bull Racing. Mate, what did it feel like to drive down Riverside Drive in an F1, mate? Oh, it was, it was awesome, you know. The closest thing I've come to that is driving out down there in my, uh, my Toyota, so it was, uh, it was really cool. And just to, just to leave a few marks on the street was uh, something, something fun. You've left the two tyre marks, the Riccardio, and right in front of the bell tower as well, mate. You're going to go yeah. back and sign them? Yeah, yeah, I'll go, go and take a few photos. No, it was great fun. Yeah. And of course, the star and face of the event, Mark Webber, who finished in third place in the 2010 World F1 Championship. We caught up with Mark and asked him his thoughts on Daniel Riccardio and his up and coming form. Very good. Yeah, Daniel's, uh, you know, done a great job in the, in the first few seasons of his career over there as a junior. He's on the Red Bull program, they've done a great job for him, and uh, now he's got a great opportunity next year by doing the Friday testing of uh, race weekends. So, um, you know, he knows what uh, mountain he's got to climb and um, he's got a good head on his shoulders, so he should be all right. He doesn't need much advice, you know, he knows um, what he needs to do. Uh, he's uh, going to be very much, um, you know, a force in the future, you know, in the sport, I think. On the grid together would be great, obviously. Uh, I've only been there my solo for, for 10 years now, so, um, yeah, it'd be great to have Daniel with me. Later in the show, I'm going to introduce you to Daniel Ricciardo and find out exactly what it's like to be part of the Red Bull race team. That's coming up on Zoom TV. In this day and age, one thing that is very clear is our individuality. We all have different wants and different needs. And in these days, it's just so easy to personalise the things that we buy. However, personalising a car, well, that seems like a very daunting process. Actually, thanks to City Toyota, it doesn't have to be. Today, we're going to look at their pre-sale delivery process, which looks at the part between the sale and the delivery of your new or pre-owned vehicle. So come on. City Toyota are committed to not only selling you the car you want, but ensuring that the car you buy is accessorised with everything you need. After all, it's your car. And they do this at their dedicated pre-delivery department, which specialises in preparing your vehicle so it's delivered to you with all the accessories and add-ons you require. Pre-delivery is the process where your new car is fitted with your desired accessories before you take delivery. The best thing about doing this before you take delivery of your new car is genuine parts, which means a better match and fit with your car. Peter, what is the benefit of using genuine Toyota parts and accessories? Toyota parts and accessories are engineered by Toyota for Toyota, manufactured to their exacting standards. They maintain the quality, durability and reliability of your Toyota. City Toyota's pre-delivery department can professionally install high quality window tinting and offer a range of state-of-the-art aftercare products, including rust, fabric and leather protection which importantly are all fully backed with an exclusive guarantee. They also stock and fit a wide range of genuine Toyota accessories including tow bars, bull bars and roof racks. And in most cases, if they don't have the genuine accessory you need, no problem, because Toyota WA have an even bigger warehouse full of genuine spare parts and accessories right here in WA. The Toyota WA warehouse is so big that they should have the exact part you need on site, which means you'll never have to wait for that part to be shipped in again. And in most cases, they can deliver the part you need to City Toyota that day. Carrie, this is a huge warehouse. It's actually quite intimidating. How many parts and accessories are here? Uh, we stock about 35,000 different lines, uh, covering off about 200,000 different pieces in this facility. Wow, how do you keep everything organised? Uh, we've got a great computer system. Uh, we've got great people that look after everything that make sure that we get the parts out as quick as our dealerships need them to service their customers. So four times a day we service our network here. 
Having access to a substantial amount of parts and accessories combined with the facility and technicians to professionally fit them allows City Toyota to offer you a very efficient and unique personal buying experience. When you buy your new car, it should be an enjoyable process and it should be a personal process, which is the case with the City Toyota pre-delivery service. And when you think about it, the way you're treated during the sale really does make all the difference. To find out more, drop into the award-winning City Toyota dealerships or go to zoomtv.com.au. After the break, I'm going to show you the new home of Ford, introduce you to Daniel Ricciardo, and I get to drive a V8 supercar on my own. That's coming up on Zoom TV. Welcome back to Zoom TV. Next up, Aaron visits the new home of Ford, John Hughes Park Ford, and the lucky bugger gets to drive a V8 race car. Everything us Aussies do is big. We have big cars, big homes, and of course, big egos. So it makes sense when we look for our next car that we deal with a big company. And now, thanks to John Hughes, WA's largest independent vehicle dealer, you can choose from a very big range of Fords right here in John Hughes Park Ford in Bentley. Ford is one of the original motoring brands to be sold in Australia, and it's of course an Australian family icon. Selling Ford motor vehicles comes with a well-established tradition and high expectation, a challenge that John Hughes was excited to accept and driven to exceed. It's obvious that John Hughes just didn't want to house a range of vehicles. He wanted to present them in a way that you didn't feel like you're in a sardine can. Even though there's over 130 pre-owned vehicles here, there's more than enough space to check each one out. Dory, you recently brought your uh, new car from John Hughes. How'd you find it? Oh, fantastic. Look, uh, I've bought a couple of cars from John now, and uh, every time, it just gets better and better. Uh, friendly staff, they get to know you real quick. They're interested in what you want, and the cars are just fantastic. So you couldn't be happy with Oh, no, look, looked around, and John's got the best cars for sure. There is a complete range of new and used Fords at the new John Hughes Park Ford, including a vast range of passenger and commercial vehicles. There is also a state-of-the-art service centre that offers you complete support with your Ford, so you can buy your new vehicle knowing that it will be backed by Ford trained service technicians. Well, John, you've done it again. You've delivered a massive yard. Well, Aaron, this yard's been open for about three or four weeks now, and it's already, we've doubled the sales already than what we've been doing. It's absolutely massive. It's got great frontage, as you can see. We're currently carrying in excess of 140 vehicles, a lot more, of course, going through the system. And uh, no, I'm very pleased with it. I think it's going to be fantastic. In the three years John Hughes has operated Park Ford, he has achieved sales and customer service success, including Dealer of the Year 2008 and 2009. Confirming that you really can trust, you will not only be getting the best deal, but you will enjoy the entire process. So if range, reputation and customer service matters to you, I urge you to get down to the all new John Hughes Park Ford in Bentley. To view the massive range of new and pre-owned Fords, or to book a service, drop into the new John Hughes Park Ford in Bentley, or go to zoomtv.com.au. Have you ever wanted to experience what it would be like to be a V8 race car driver? Would you like to test your ability behind the wheel of this? Well, thanks to MC Motorsport, you can. Today we're at the MC Motorsport Road Circuit, which is located next to the Perth International Airport. We've come here for their ultimate V8 hot lap driving experience. Now, Zoom TV is all about safe and controlled driving, which is why the MC Motorsport V8 hot lap driving experience is such a good idea, because it gives you a chance to test your race car driving potential in a controlled and safe environment, which is the only place you should ever drive fast. One of the most important things to MC Motorsport is safety. So before you get to drive or be a passenger in one of their V8 race cars, you are taken through a thorough safety briefing. The briefing helps to introduce you to the experience and answer any questions you may have, as well as fit you out with your race suit and helmet.
No matter who you are, your body will feel the excitement and adrenaline just wearing the race suit, as mine has. I'm so excited to go for my drive, but before I do, I'm gonna try the passenger experience with Murray, who is one of MC Motorsports professional drivers. Murray? Hi, Aaron. How you doing, mate? What are we doing? We're gonna take you out on a V8 passenger experience. We're gonna do a start off with the slow lap, show you around the track, see what it's like, and answer any questions you might have, and then we're gonna take you out and show you what the car can do. Are you up for it? I sure am, let's, let's go. go. And over your shoulder. Waist. MC Motorsport offers two experiences. The first is to be a passenger in a race car, and the second, which I believe is the ultimate experience, is to actually pilot one of their V8 race cars on your own. Both experiences offer you a slow first lap, which helps to build confidence in your driver or yourself if you are in fact the driver. As you complete the induction lap, a tingle takes over your body as the car is launched into race mode. It's at this moment you appreciate the uniqueness of the experience, and trust me, it's the ultimate experience. Wow, that was amazing. The noise, the power, the speed. I'm so excited. I just can't wait for my turn. Now, come on, Murray. Bye, go. Well, I'm excited, Murray. I'm when you excited. climb into the race car, you are strapped in by the safety team, and it's at this point apprehension turns very quickly to excitement. Then you start the V8, and your body turns on the adrenaline as you transform into a V8 race car driver. Now, I'm just finishing my first lap, and I can tell you, even though it's the slow lap, it's such a rush. I'm literally buzzing all over, and I can't wait to go. The feeling you get being in control of this beast is amazing. Listen to it, it's a machine. Okay, buckle up, it's time to drive. Let's go! The road circuit at MC Motorsport is just over one and a half kilometres. It's a good track to drive on as it consists of corners that are all very different with a variety of low speed and high speed corners. This makes it just like a real V8 experience. The car is also as close to a real V8 race car as they could make it for general public use. It's got a full safety roll cage, performance brakes, suspension, engine enhancements and a full V8 supercar body kit. Oh, that was so much fun, you've really got to give this a go for yourself. The experience is charged by the lap with a minimum of two laps required, giving them the option to do up to ten laps. If you don't want to drive yourself, you can opt for the passenger experience instead. You can also purchase a DVD, so like me, you can prove to your friends you actually did it. So if you can do with a little bit more excitement in your life, or you just simply want to put your driving skills to the test legally and safely on a custom-built road circuit, then I dare you to book yourself an MC Motorsport V8 hot lap driving experience. Or even better, dare one of your friends and grab them a gift voucher. If you would like to experience a V8 drive for yourself, or maybe buy someone special the ultimate gift, Check out the MC Motorsport website. That's at mcmotorsport.com.au. We have two MC Motorsport experiences to give away. All you have to do is go to our website, zoomtv.com.au, to enter. Good luck. They say behind every successful man is a successful woman. And you could also presume behind every successful business is an equally successful woman. So imagine if you employed many women. Well, you'd expect your business to be very, very successful. With that in mind, we thought we'd introduce you to some of the women behind one of WA's most successful Toyota dealerships, City Toyota. City Toyota are in fact one of the most successful Toyota dealerships in WA, recently taken out Dealer of the Year for the second time in a row. And dealer principal Wayne Smith admits that one of the key ingredients is devoted staff. Historically, the motor industry was always dominated by males. However, like most industries, women are invading and bringing with them a unique number of skills, including a high level of communication and customer service. So Shane, I've been out there, you've got a massive amount of staff, so you obviously don't do it by yourself. What's the secret? Uh, the secret is that I've got three extremely good coordinators and obviously a bunch of staff that uh, get the vehicles ready and delivered in time. So you've got a great team of staff. It's awesome. awesome. Head up by three coordinators that make you look good. That's right. That's a good secret. That's it, eh? So Suzanne, I hear you're part of the pre-delivery department. Yes, I am. And we've got a big team and we all work very well together. I get all the vehicles ready for the fleet department, which includes a lot of government and a lot of mining vehicles. So it must be an extremely busy job. It can be, yes. A lot of pressure? I can handle it. 
Mechanics have always been very dominated by males. However, City Toyota have a very capable and hard-working female apprentice. So Barry, you head up the uh, Nedlands Service Centre? I do here, Aaron. We have uh, two service centres, one at Northbridge and one at Nedlands. Uh, we have a fantastic team over here in Nedlands. But I hear your team has a very unique team member. We do. We have uh, got a female apprentice here running with us. So her name's Kristen. She's been with us for uh, just about a year now and she's doing an absolutely fantastic job. Showing up the guys, I've been told as well. Yeah, well I wouldn't want to tell the guys that, but look, she is uh, really on top of her game and uh, we're looking forward to her completing her time in another couple of years. So you must be Kristen. Yes, hi, how's it going? <laughs> so it's true, you are actually an apprentice mechanic. Yes, indeed. So what made you want to be an apprentice mechanic? Well, I've been wanting to do it for a few years and I did my pre-apprenticeship six years ago at school and got six brothers and it runs in the family. We all like the cars, so. So you know what you're doing? Sort of. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, to a degree. I'm so, learning still. <laughs> so if you want to get a woman's touch, this is where you'd come to get your car fixed? Definitely. You've got to bring it here. <laughs> when it comes to finances, I would have to agree that generally, women are better than us men. So I guess that is why City Toyota choose to have a woman running their finances. So can you look after all the finances here? Yes, I do. I've been looking after the finance and the admin here for about three and a half years. And I, I noticed you've got a big team, and it's actually full of men and women. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I've got a great team here, and you know we all just try and make sure everything's all kept in order. Do you find you have to uh, pull the guys in the line very often here? Oh, sometimes we do. Yeah. One of the hardest jobs in car sales is fleet sales. It requires the very best customer service skills, time management, and to really succeed, you have to be a good multitasker, which is why, again, heading up City Toyota Nedlands fleet department is yet another woman, Lisa Molino. So tell me your secret. Our secret is great customer service. Even though we do put out a large volume here at City Toyota, we do treat every individual customer as its own, give them 100% support and reliability. And so you do that with a great team? Yes, we do. Our team's fantastic and I couldn't do it without any one of them. So there you go, proof that the motoring industry, with help from people like City Toyota, are really embracing equal opportunity and best of all, getting heaps of success out of it. So if you could do with a woman's touch, make sure you come and see the guys, I mean women, at City Toyota. One of you guys grab my purse. To find out more about the award-winning team at City Toyota, go to citytoyota.net.au or call 9221-0888. I'm now joined by the man that everyone believes will be Perth's first F1 champion, Daniel Ricciardo. How are you, bud? Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Mate, you're personally, you've uh, been great to talk to. We've talked a few times whilst you've been in other countries, but to have you here, how are you finding it? Yeah, it's great. You know, the reception I got this morning getting in here was, was huge, and um, as soon as I got out of the car, there was a few, fa or a few more fans than I thought wanting uh, autographs and photos, so it's been uh, pretty overwhelming at the moment. Well, the one thing about Perth people is they really get behind their heroes. Now, not just getting behind because you're doing what you're doing, but you're doing it really well. You didn't just learn how to drive. It, it came to you when you were about nine. Tell us the story. You know, nine years old, started go-kart racing. Always, always had it in the blood, always loved racing from when I was young, just watching it. And Dad did a bit of racing, so I followed him. And, um, and then, yeah, so when I was 16, finished up, finished up with karts and did a little bit of Formula Ford here at Barbagello just to learn, uh, learn a few skills, a couple races, and then uh, moved to, well, stayed in Perth, but raced in Asia, doing Formula BMW, uh, like first full season of cars at 16. And then, yeah, 17 moved to Europe. What's it like being part of, I suppose, one of the most powerful sporting teams in the world? What, what's that like? Oh, it's, I mean, it's, it's huge. It comes with a lot of pressure, but a lot of pride as well, and happy to be part of it. It's a big task to sort of live up to the expectations they, they reached this year. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to give it a good crack, and, and hopefully they'll keep moving me up and, and get a full-time seat. Well, mate, thanks very much for your time. Really appreciate it, and good luck. I know we'll see you at the top of F1, mate. Uh, Next bad. year's your year, I think. Thank you. At the age of just 21, Daniel already has built a very impressive resume, a dream supported and shared by his current team, Red Bull Racing. But don't make the mistake of thinking F1 driving is easy, glamorous work. It is a lot of hard work, which includes long time away from your friends and family and much sacrifice. Now, if you would like to follow Daniel and be part of his future success, you can go to his website, danielricardio.com.
we're done for today and what a show. Aaron, you certainly got to do some great stuff and meet some pretty important people. And don't forget, Kate, they got to meet me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think they're trying to forget that one. And if you've forgotten anything from today's show, go to our website. There you'll find links and some more info on products featured on today's show, and you'll see some more reviews. And don't forget, we've got two MC Motorsport experiences to give away. Just go to zoomtv.com.au, follow the links. Good luck, and bye for now. Is it true this program was brought to you by WA's most trusted car dealer, John Hughes? Absolutely.